hey all you statistics fans, I'm going to get you to follow the bouncing ball and give you something else that will help you with um, all the statistics stuff. I'm at my cor the course website. I'm going to go to Stuff That Helps. What you're going to find is a new link to the Student Companion site for our textbook. There's no access code required, so just click on this, and it's going to open the course website um, in a new window. I want to come here to the CAD Stack XL plugin. What I want to do now is I want, there's some installation instructions, but I'm going to walk you through it. Um, I'm going to click on this, and what I want to do is I want to save it. So it's going to download. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say open folder. When I open the folder, you'll see that it's in my download section or, or wherever you save it to. I'm going to double click. It's going to open the file folder. Open the file folder. What I'm going to do now is this is an Excel add-in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click here. My computer is going to think for a second. It's going to open Excel. And the next thing I want to do is it's going to give me a security notice and I want to enable macros. Once I have enabled the macros, you're going to think, well, heck, nothing happened. Come up here to the top to your menu bar and now you're going to see a new one called add-ins. When you click there, what you're going to see now is one that is CAD. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Options, and it's going to say Load it up at Startup, and I'm going to say the registry's been updated, and now I'm going to say Close. What this means is that now when you open Excel, this will automatically be there. What can you do in CAD stat, we can do our probabilities, we can do our histograms, you'll be able to do your confidence intervals, your hypothesis testing, and what's really nice is you'll be able to do decision trees when we get, get uh, to that part of the course later. So when you come back to home, what you should now have is if you are um, maximized in Excel under add-ins, you'll have CAD stat under data when you scroll over you'll have a data analysis tool pack and there is literally between these and mini tab there is nothing I'm going to teach you this semester that can't be done with the assistance of one of these programs so hope this helps and I will talk to you guys soon